Okay, welcome to another edition of Tractor Tips. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Gator effect in uh, one of the single effects panels. So uh, let's get cracking. Um, <clears throat> first up, you want to make sure that you have the effects set up correctly. So let's go in onto the preferences here. And in the effects section, um, you can uh, make sure that effects one is set to single. And we're just going to use this effects one. Um, on this particular occasion here. Um, so to mirror what I'm doing here, this is how you would do it. Make sure that's set to single in the effects panel mode. Close this down. And then you can select the drop down uh, to uh, select the gator. All right, once you've got the gator, <clears throat> you don't have to do this with the, the mouse. You can do it with uh, any controller that you have. I'm gonna be using the X1 today. And uh, once you have the gator selected, um, I've just got a track loaded into deck uh, B and I've got the volume set a little lower so that you can hear what I'm saying um, but we'll go ahead and show you what can be done with the gator here. First of all I need to make sure that I've got the effect uh, 1 set to on on deck B and I've got all the effects turned off here. Um, so nothing's actually making any uh, any uh, effect on that channel. We can set the uh, dry wet to high. We can set the noise where the level wherever we want and the shape here. And then the rate will pop on like the highest. So when we turn on the dry wet, you'll hear a high rate gator like this. Now on its own, without any tweaking, it just sounds a little bit messy. A little bit annoying but if we change the the rate and we tweak it we get a bit of a scratch effect okay so a little bit like uh, James Sabila is a little bit famous for that one um, using his different controllers that he has but that is um, a basic a way to use the gator. Um, you can also uh, start tweaking all the buttons here at the same time to have different effects. And each one of these uh, buttons in the effects unit, as you can see on the screen, uh, you've got uh, mute and stutter right there. The other button is just a reset button, so it resets it back to uh, you know the load settings of that effect. So. Whatever your load settings you want to be, you can actually make them save that way. So let's go dry wet up to the top, right up to the top. We'll turn the noise to the middle and shape to the middle. Um, and then what I can do is I can just press the um, save button, which is located right here. And every time I reset um, that effect, so let's change all the effects, let's press some buttons. Now if I go to the press the reset button, it'll reset it to what I just saved it as there. So we know that whenever we load the gator, it'll, it'll load like this. So let's see how that sounds and we'll uh, tweak, tweak a few knobs at the same time and see what different effects we can get. The stutter will sort of half the rate um, and the mute sort of quietens it down. So long as the noise is down, the mute will uh, quieten everything down. So let's have a look at that, how that sounds. So if we press the mute, it'll literally mute that. If we have the noise turned a little bit further up and mute it, it doesn't have quite the same effect. The more noise, the less effect the mute has. If you turn the mute, the noise right down, the mute will mute that effect. Okay. So this is the stutter effect, put some noise in, so this effect works great just for like a scratch effect and also if um, if track B was the one that's going out of the mix so you're just bringing in track A and uh, maybe you're unsure of a way to sort of 
finally take out track B, you can throw in these effects over the top and it adds a nice effect of a way to get out of that track. All right, hopefully uh, that's been a credit lesson on how to use the gator uh, in the single effects unit. And so now you can uh, go and impress all your friends and act a bit like James Abila. Thanks for watching.